Before I start on this video, I just want to say that I'm not trying to hate on people who buy Brandy Melville because I'm also guilty of that myself. This is just to raise awareness about fast fashion brands like Brandy Melville. So what is Brandy Melville? Brandy Melville is an Italian clothing and fashion accessory brand that markets their products to teenage girls and young women. In this video, I'm going to be talking about where Brandy Melville clothes are made and the problems with that. Yes, an Italian company does not have to make their clothes in Italy itself. But according to this website, the brand is primarily made in Italy, with some manufacturing being outsourced to China. My closet had made in China, Italy, USA, and PRC. In case you don't know what PRC is, it stands for the Republic of China and there's no difference. But that's just my mini collection of Brandy Melville which is obviously not reliable, so I'll give you a wider set of results. I made a spreadsheet with everything available on Brandy Melville USA at that time. Out of 126 products, this is what I got. More than half, well 54.8% to be exact, comes from China. Whether it was made by child labor, forced labor, or fair paid workers, this is not clear. And all the points made in this video will be considered a conspiracy because I do not want to get sued. The only piece of official information from Brandy Melville itself that I could find was this email, which basically means nothing. Brandy Melville is tight on information about its production and provides insufficient relevant information about its practices. So we can assume that it isn't an ethical company. Despite information being tight, there are some third party sources that could reveal some of the secrets. This is research made by a Twitter user on Brandy Melville and its practices. In her research, she shows a conversation with a Brandy Melville store manager who wasn't allowed to release any info but stated that it wasn't an ethical company and that she also threatened to take legal actions against her after she posted a what's behind the scenes Brandy Melville video. Because some of the clothes are made in Italy and the rest of Europe, they have to abide by the European labor laws, which in summary is this. Assuming the clothes are actually made in Italy, it is most likely the clothes are being made under these circumstances. But there's no way to prove that the clothes are actually manufactured in Italy. There are a lot of illegally run Chinese-owned fast fashion companies in Italy that are horrible for the environment and exploit labor but are located in Italy to get that made in Italy tag to trick buyers. In order to survive in these tough conditions, people resort to working in workshops that are illegal with sweatshop conditions just to support their family and barely get by. According to local authorities, up to two-thirds of Chinese in Prato are illegal immigrants. Clothes could also be made in China, but are sent to Italy for that made in Italy label as well. There are many articles that exposes this practice among companies and I'll be linking them all down below so you can check them out yourself. In no way I'm saying that Brandy Melville does this but it could be a possibility as the prices are low and with new stocks coming in twice a week, they adapt quickly to trends. If that's the clothes manufactured in Italy, how about China? On Reddit, a user claimed that in the past, the vast majority of items were made in Italy and only selected restocks of items were made in China. But now, more and more of the tags are saying made in PRC. This shows the rise in production to China. And so how is production like? Known as the factory of the world, China has the world's largest population. It currently has nearly 1.4 billion people, out of which 700 million people are working in the manufacturing sector. As a result, the workforce is skillful and productive. Therefore, low wages can be given because it's a competitive environment for a job. Unlike production in Italy, those labor laws don't apply in China. They don't have properly fixed working hours, so a worker could potentially work up to 16 hours on some jobs with no fixed minimum wage rule across the country. They also have fewer environmental regulations and the health and safety of the workers are not taken into serious consideration. Although China has laws regarding child labor, it is also not strictly followed. Since Paxson does not sell its own clothing, but rather clothes from other manufacturers like Brandy Melville, but instead it's under the name of John Gao. Since the same clothes Brandy sells can either have John Gao or Brandy tag, it is highly possible that it uses the same unethical practice. However, there is a code of conduct on the Paxson website which states that there shall be no use of forced labor. However, its labor rating is not good enough according to Good On You, which is an app that does ethical brand ratings. 
so that's it for this video. I found that there wasn't much information on Brandy Melville's production, so I thought this video would be helpful, even though everything is just a conspiracy, you know? But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you, and bye!